यहाँ पर यहाँ मेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है टू लुक आफ्टर द प्रोडक्ट पोर्टफोलियो मार्केटिंग एज वेल एज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अगर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में भी जैसे हमने काफी रिटेल में ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंस सेटअप कर दिया जो ब्रिजेश कह रहे थे कि कुछ साल पहले तक लोग वाइटो को जानते नहीं थे और आप लोगों को खुशी होगी कि ऑलरेडी वी है ब्रांचेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री इन लेस देन वन ईयर उसके अलावा जो डिजिटल में हम काम कर रहे हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ माई फोरे एक बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट काम है कि अभी जैसे तीन प्रोडक्ट्स हम ऑलरेडी लॉन्च कर चुके हैं फ्लेक्सी कैप फंड बिट कैप फंड टैक्स सेवर और अभी एक लार्ज कैप करने वाले हैं सो जो प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ यू नो माई पर व्यू Okay, I I have got requests English as well as I've got requests Hinglish. So I I'm going to you know toggle between English and Hinglish. Um, is is that fine, Brijesh? Because seventy five percent English is good, and uh, a little bit of English is a must because we stay in India. Um, Hindi ke bina to anand aata hi nahi. Okay, okay. So we we'll we'll persevere. So I do realize that uh, you know uh, my own career has taken me to different locations, right? So I've worked. I started my career in the north in Punjab. Uh, worked in Delhi. Uh, have worked in Bangalore. Uh, you know, otherwise born and brought up in Bombay. Have spent now twenty six years in financial services, working across banks, wealth management firms, asset management. So just before I joined White Oak, I used to be with this company called uh, Sanctum Wealth, uh, which was actually a management buyout. Uh, it was part of the wealth management business. Um, so you know that I was one of the founders out there. Uh, so clearly, you know, as I said, I've spent time in banking. wealth management distribution and now of course uh, asset management isse pehle 5 saal templeton mein bhi kaam kiya tha in during the 2007 to 2010 10 during that period uh, so i have seen tremendous amount of changes in asset management industry uh, in this period uh, so that's a little bit of introduction about myself rajesh fantastic thank you so let me officially welcome you to today's webinar pratik uh, it's saturday 5th of november and uh, market is above 60000 this is only a second or third time in the last 365 days markets have crossed 60000 we reached 62000 and then went back all the way to 50000 then again we reached to 61000 around 62000 all the way back to 57 56 and now we are back again to 61000 so it's a very good opportunity for us to have this discussion pratik thank you so yeah. much for coming to master stroke and um, uh with this fantastic topic and i think there's a lot of concern in the market about this active versus passive we have some questions but the first question first put in 61000 where do you see the market in the near future if you have to do the crystal gazing are you there pratik friends am i audible can you say yes uh, is my connection all right in the chat box can somebody say can you hear me yeah so pratik is uh, not there so let pratik you are you are back could you hear my question pratik you are on mute we can't hear you yeah no i i didn't hear your question sorry yeah. all right so where do you see the markets uh, going ahead so you know brijesh we at white oak we always said that it is it is not difficult it's impossible to time markets right and uh, we we talk about you know it being like a you know coin flip where you can dis, you know one side will tell you market is going up the other side will tell you market is going down you know this long term secular story in india which i'm sure everybody in this audience you know who deal with so many um, investment managers would have had that you know we continue to have very solid uh, tailwinds uh, from a from an indian economy perspective despite the near term you know issues right there is concern of inflation pichle hafte hi agar aapne dekha hai to fed has increased uh, rates by 75 basis and the the tone there is that this is not the last right you are going to continue to see things happening china is actually a little bit more of a worry than the us in my mind jo do hafte pehle peoples congress hui thi wahan pe xi jinping ne he has replaced his entire people committee out there and put it with loyalist hang seng is down 15% in the last two weeks uh brijesh as we talk right china ko jo log keh rahe the ki you know it will grow by 6% and now the new revised rates are anywhere between 1.5 to 2 to 2.5% automatically the impact on global growth is going to be quite uh strong right because of something like china which was supposed to be the largest economy by 2030 so if you see all of that there are all of those headwinds which are there having said that right domestically um you know and you know my 
पिछले एक हफ्ते से आई वॉज इन अटेंडिंग दिस आई फा इवेंट इन कोचिन वेर आई वॉज स्पीकिंग आउट देर उसके बाद आई स्पेंड सम टाइम इन चेन्नई मीटिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ आर एम एफ डी पार्टनर्स राइट एंड आई आई बीन टेलिंग दैम दैट वेर एवर यू गो टूडे द कंजम्पन इज सो स्ट्रॉग राइट देर इज नॉट अ सिंगल फ्लाइट टिकट अवेलेबल होटल्स आर रनिंग फुल ऑटोमोबाइल्स आर ऑन वेट लिस्ट यू नो वेन यू लुक एट ग्राउंड लेवल स्पेंडिंग एंड एंड दिस इज नॉट जस्ट वॉट इज ऑब्जर्व बट इवन जो अभी क्वार्टली रिजल्ट आए हैं इस समय I think we are seeing after 15 years, earnings data. You know, in 2007-8 was a very strong period, and I'm actually seeing that in 2022 when I start looking at quarterly re- results right now, right? So our domestic results continue to be very strong. One impact which will happen is, just like I said, right? The three things which are very important to look when you look at what are you know how do you look at markets, right? Economy, earnings, and flows. right economy wise while globally there is a lot of issues domestically we still holding quite strong right inflation is not a problem for india we are used to 5 7 percent inflation aisa nahi hai ki koi nayi cheez hai yahan par right in terms of earnings the data looks extremely strong having said that the flows part of it will continue to be challenged right 35 billion dollars outflow hue hain fi is ka and that is not going to stop i bridges that will continue for some more time till the time you have these elevated interest rates around the world at this juncture right because as an asset class people are selling out equity and investing in bonds because risk in the equity side is very high for overseas investors having said that hamare jo aap log sabne ab jaise aap you were talking about these schemes and you know the sip strategies which you've done domestic flows have been providing some level of support mutual fund holdings in equity markets in india are all time high right fii holdings are at 10 year lows right so काफी कुछ हो रहा है इस समय ब्रजेश मगर ज्यादा अगर आप यू नो पांच साल दस साल एंड दैट इज व्हाट आई एम श्योर हमारे हमारे जो सब यू नो पार्टनर्स हैं यहाँ पे दे आर नॉट ट्रेडर्स बट दे आर इन्वेस्टर्स राइट फॉर एन इन्वेस्टर देर इज नो बेटर टाइम टू बी इन इंडिया एंड एंड दैट कंटिन्यू दैट आउटलुक कंटिन्यूज टू बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग राइट नाउ फैंटास्टिक बींग इन इंडिया टूडे यू नो यू फील सो proud that you know when you hear such stories that india is growing and 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 though you're not happy about some of the counterparts like us to china not growing but from a competitive angle and from the indian perspective you feel nice that in spite of the headwinds and everywhere the situation being gloomy india is going strong and so again but you know pratik india trades roughly at double the earnings of the world market and ever since i have started into this profession this has been the case for 15 20 years india trades are almost around 19 20 on an average 18 is the long term average if i am correct you know better bilkul and the world average trades at 9 or 10 kind of thing and every time the story is this that india is going to be a great story and uh, the premium will continue to be there <coughs> how long this story will continue <laughs> okay so uh, british isme na do cheeze hain one i think this whole definition of premium right um matlab jo long term averages ki baat karte hain log you have to keep revisiting some of these numbers right see when we were talking about these long term averages they used you know the global market used to be a 20 30 trillion dollars of market cap today your you know market sizes have doubled right the flow up pichle 5 saal pichle 2 3 saal mein dekh lijiye there's 10 trillion dollars of flows which were put into the market by by printing of additional money right so if inflation happens with goods why can't inflation happen with the you know with general uh, you know price earning numbers or something like that right so there is going to be some re-rating if 10 15 was good at some point of time i think 20 25 is more like where where the numbers reside at this point of time as mean value the second aspect of it is na humne balki you know, i would encourage uh, all um, our partners to actually go to humne hum, january mein bytok ne ek paper nikala tha on india premium right and ab ye nahi keh sakta ki mereko bhavishyavani thi iske bare mein balki we we actually got a note which is there on my website about why india trades at premium right and the factors are many but you know if i had to highlight the most important thing which we realized is india has very strong you know institution structure unlike many of the other markets we have a very diversified market and there is this whole democracy premium which is there in india log pehle na kehte the ki china mein ya russia mein ya ye sab jo autocratic regimes mein kaam karna bahut zyada aasan hai you know it's very easy to direct things and get things done but today you are realizing the folly of it right 
nobody wants to touch china russia has become in, uninvestable if you look at some of the gcc countries it's the same thing because what happens is the state owned or public sectors actually you know dominate this landscape quite high, strongly in many of these countries the private enterprise is not very strong what we benefit is from this whole private enterprise in india which is very diverse hamara agar aap dekhe na large cap mid cap small cap we have now you know 3 trillion dollars uh, you know worth of uh, companies with very diverse type of landscape which is there that allows us and that gives us the premium and that is what many of the overseas investors find comfort in right so the institutional framework the democratic institution as well as the wide range of availability of companies within the large mid and small cap space uh, provides that level of premium to india and honestly british there is very difficult of this size economy today with that growth potential to actually find some of this right jaise hum companies ko value karte hain companies ko historic valuations ke liye nahi hum paisa dete hain we give money or the future you know future growth ke liye you get pe multiples you don't get for what you have done in the past similarly when you look at us india story and abhi you just made that statement yourself right we are so proud proud that we are in india outlook looks very good that's really why the foreigner is paying you that premium that's why your domestic markets are ready to pay you that premium yeah i agree so you know pradeep and to the audience i want to give you an observation of my own life i am in calcutta and uh, i shifted to calcutta in year 2000 and uh, after 3 4 years i was looking for a property and uh, if you are conversant with calcutta and other people baliganj is the place alipur is the place in calcutta where the prices are really very high yes and it always have commanded a premium which is almost 50% 40% of the other places premium you know okay, if you are getting a property at 4000 rupees square feet the baliganj will have 6000 square feet rupees per square feet and i thought it is expensive and it has been 20 years i have been in calcutta even after 20 years baliganj and alipur still commands a premium from rest of the places and i wonder ki at any point of time if you have bought a property in baliganj or alipur no matter what the price was it is still continuing to go up so you know the the idea of waiting doesn't merit simply because some things will continue to go up because it is a premium yes. and for example in bombay worldly or lower prail or you will know better or adheri or 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 you know better road and all those places the prices will keep on rising in, in spite of you know some of the other places not doing well so i consider sometime that you know rather than waiting just put your money in the stock market if it does well you make money if it doesn't do well you will make money after 5 years some money and uh, which will still be better than fixed deposit so that analogy can also work for people who are on the sidelines that okay i will buy cheap because buying cheap seldom happens so which brings me to the next question pratik at white oak what is your experience in the last few years or many years do people actually invest when markets go down and can they time the market do you get inflows when the markets are bad so the investor behavior and you know has changed quite a bit i i would say over the last uh, you know decade since i've been seeing right i've been in capital markets for almost 3 decades now uh, brijesh right apna jab shuru kiya tha maine as an engineering college student uh, in 91 that was the peak of harshad mehta right and then ketan parekh and dot com and you know so we've seen the entire cycle right Glo- global financial crisis tapering we now right through that period the whole behavior has changed quite a bit of investors and i i think a lot of credit goes to our distribution fraternity right uh, earlier people would panic i mean and the classic example you would think is covid right we we've, we've seen during that period agar uska bhi data aap dekhe while the markets may have you know really fallen off in march 2020 but it was not followed by a lot of outflows from domestic investors in fact during the april to june you know period you continued to get resilience flows on the dii side although fii's were selling right and even today uh, that is what has been holding up the market so i i think this whole you know we we came out with a very love with a very nice paper uh, which i think many uh, partners would have seen on sips where we've said कि कैन यू रियली यू नो व्हाट इज अ गुड डेट फॉर एसआईपी और हमने कहा कि बेसिकली द डे यू गेट योर सैलरी इज अ गुड डेट फॉर एसआईपी बिकॉज इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ जिस दिन भी आपने पैसा डाला होगा आपकी रिटर्न वही 15 16 17 परसेंट के आसपास रही है पिछले 10 15 साल में व्हेन यू लुक एट रोलिंग रिटर्न्स सिमिलरली व्हेन पीपल आस्क यू नो इज वीकली गुड डेली गुड फोर्टनाइटली गुड एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ सो द ऑल यू आस्क मी अ क्वेश्चन कैन यू टाइम इट राइट सो देयर इज नो 
concept of timing the market right you may think you are you, as you rightly said right now right market went through the cycle 60000 went to 50 60 back you know what has changed from a economic data perspective nothing in my mind the news has continued to be very grim in the last 2 3 months and even with that grim news while you've seen sell off in some of the global markets your domestic markets have been completely resilient out here so if you were to think that you have this durdashi right ki matlab ab ye hone wala hai gdp data itna aayega you know your this thing is going to so if if you believed that those were the things and decided to time your investments as per that you may actually lose some of the best days in the market because when there is some news flow which comes which gives a little bit more certainty to the market ki you know if suddenly there's a nowadays when you get a adverse data point the market actually rallies because they think that uske karan rate cut hoga or the rate you know increase has actually stopped out there right and the governments the feds will continue to now support the market from there on so in fact adverse adverse economic data at times makes the markets to rally right now so it's you know that whole correlation i don't think you know it's it's not worth trying to even understand why where that correlation is right and in in my mind if you can spend that discipline it's like the time you spend in the market rather than timing the market right if if that philosophy can be worked you know making 15 to 20% returns on a sustainable basis in diversified equity funds you know through both a mix, mix of active passive large mid flexi all all that uh is definitely the path over the next 10 years fantastic so coming on to the main agenda of the today's meeting there's so many news coming in that index is the way going forward now investors are inquiring about passives there's a lot of advertisements in the media from some houses a lot of new funds have been launched also the data also supports this that it is very difficult to beat index especially the tri index and there is almost consensus even among the distributors i mean that okay so uh, maybe mid cap small cap still have steam for fund managers to identify stocks but what about large caps does it make sense to invest in a large cap mutual fund or one should just simply do sips or lump sum investment into a passive or etf kind of uh, index uh, mutual funds what's your take at white oak sure so brijesh let me put the cat among the pigeons as they say right basic thing is i i think this fallacy that you know index investing is the only way to go um is is incorrect right this whole concept and it's not because you know i have a large cap fund to launch that i'm telling you this right it's i mean aapko kyunki main kya example de sakta hu agar aap mera pichle 5 saal ka track record dekho and i you know i don't have a mutual fund track record of 5 years but i have a pms track record so i've been running a portfolio management strategy which is there actively to usme hum kya karte hain we talk about attribution analysis ki mere large cap portion se to mera flexi cap fund hai wo large cap se kitne return hua hai versus the benchmark mid cap how much is the return and small cap how much is the return versus the benchmark so we have outperformed in all three buckets brijesh the large cap portion has outperformed the index the mid has outperformed and small is outperformed can i can i run through a few i, I have a, some very interesting data and slides which i have maybe you know that will explain Of क्योंकि course, मुझे इसमें ना मैं आई वांट टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू इन टू पार्ट्स राइट वन व्हाट इज द लार्ज कैप स्पेस टुडे इन इंडिया क्योंकि क्या होता है हम लोग एवरीथिंग वी स्टार्ट एपिंग द वेस्ट कि यूएस में बिकॉज पीपल आर सेइंग दिस सो इंडिया आल्सो इट्स द सेम थिंग राइट एंड आई थिंक द इंडिया स्टोरी इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द यूएस स्टोरी और द यूरोप स्टोरी एंड वी आर वेरी स्ट्रांग बिलीवर्स दैट यू कैन मेक अल्फा इन द लार्ज कैप स्पेस एंड यू नो इफ आई Yes, is my, is my share screen uh, enabled? Yes. Okay, one okay, minute. Huh? Friends, if you have any question, please put that across in the Q and A box. And uh, after a few questions, I will take some of the questions. Pratik can also figure it out, or you can write even in the chat box. Please put your questions across. Is it visible? Yes. One okay, minute. One huh? okay, minute. Sorry. So, if you were to, and these are a few slides which has data. So just. bear with me because this this data is very useful for people to also understand hamare jo indian market ka jo ecosystem hai na so basically large cap is your top 100 caps 100 stocks by market cap right this is something which all of us know 
इसमें बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग डेटा है जो लार्जेस्ट लार्ज कैप है ना विच इज बेसिकली रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज दैट इज उसका मार्केट कैप इज सेवेंटीन लैख करोड़ द स्मॉलेस्ट लार्ज कैप विच इज द हंड्रेड कंपनी विच राइट नाउ इज टॉरेंट फार्मा राइट इज फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड करोड तो आप जब अगर देखो लार्ज कैप भी हम कहते हैं कि यू नो बड़ी कंपनीज हैं बट बड़ी कंपनीज में भी देर इज अ बिग गैप बिटवीन फोर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड करोड़ कंपनी एंड सेवेंटीन लैख करोड़ कंपनी राइट इफ यू लुक एट मेनी टाइम्स यू नो लार्ज कैप कंपनीज Have actually gained from what is happening from a disorder perspective. So, if you look at the last three years, see, this is COVID times, right? Uh, during the pandemic, what, how is the companies done? So, if you see, large cap companies have grown, you know, in sales by twenty six percent. The operating profits have grown by forty six percent. The operating margins of these companies are at twenty three percent versus twenty percent, which used to be in twenty nineteen, right? So, over three years, if you see, many of these large cap companies have actually grown in size compared to small and mid cap and have also improved their margins in this particular period what happens is many times agar aap dekhoge aaj ke tarikh mein look at some of the top large cap companies right you whether it's the adani groups or whether it's reliance whether it's you know bharti whether it is hul many of these companies are actually acquiring a lot of the smaller companies right so they 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 are by acquiring these companies they creating company within companies type of a structure अगर आप इवन वेन यू लुक एट सम ऑफ दीज लार्ज कंपनीज राइट आई मीन दीज आर एशियन पेंट्स और आईसीआईसी बैंक और देर आर लॉट ऑफ सब्सिडरीज विच एग्जिस्ट विद इन दीज लार्ज कैप कंपनी सो इट्स नॉट वन बिग कंपनी बट मेनी मेनी स्मॉलर कंपनीज विच आर देर यू लुक एट अ मारुति सो ऑल ऑफ देम आर आर एल एन टी सो मेनी ऑफ देम आर लाइक दैट राइट दिस इज द क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द बजाज ग्रुप राइट विच हैड अ डी मर्जर एंड द टाइप ऑफ वैल्यू क्रिएशन विच इट हैज क्रिएटेड यू नो बाय uh the whole demerger story uh you know after they had gone through that this is an important aspect to understand hum jab large cap kehte hai na uh, this is compared to the us um you know market cap which is there so when you look at the us market cap right where it is today india today is what us market cap was in 2021 sorry uh, 1990 right so we are almost 30 you know 30 odd years behind at this juncture of us market cap i mean even china in 2021 is at about you know 20 trillion dollars of market cap which is what us was in 2005 so we have a long way to go so when we talk about pricing and efficiencies and ye sab cheeze you know we are our uh, our stories just about bigger and this is very telling right of the top 100 companies of the world only 3 of them right now Are from India, Reliance, TCS, and HDFC Bank. बाकी आप जो कंपनीज के नाम देख रहे हैं वहाँ पे, they are all very familiar names. But you will find across Europe, China. So we, you know, we we still have again a very very long way to go. ये अगर आप देखें again some similar example, right? हमारी जो largest retail company है Dmart, right? Versus what is there in China versus what's there in in the US, right? We still very very small compared to in across sectors, not just in this thing and why am i again comparing to china and us hamari population already china jitni hai right we are the same population in terms of consuming economy we are at that same number right we aspire to be where where us is so when you have to compare out there you realize that while we talk about growth opportunities within the small and mid cap space i think even the large cap is still very very small compared to when you compare to the china and the us story Look at this example, right? Johnson and Johnson, which is one of the largest pharma companies, is six point times India's top five pharma companies, and this is not just in the pharma sector. Across sectors, you will find similar type of examples, right? So you know when you talk again, you know coming to the question, आपने जो पूछा था ना ब्रिजेश about active and passive and large cap. If you had to look at last ten years data. right and i'm 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 deliberately using 10 years and not 5 years in the 5 years we found things hugging each other but in the last 10 years right your one crore in a actively managed this is an average return ab ye maine ek ek fund ka nahi liya hai jo apne top 10 aum mein hai large cap funds unka average returns maine calculate kiya hai ye so if you look at nifty actually gave you about 12% return the passive nifty index so one crore became 3.12 crores in last 10 years 2012 to 2022 right so absolute return of 212% basically aapka paisa 
तीन गुना हो गया जहां से शुरू हुआ था जो एक्टिवली मैनेज लार्ज कैप फंड रिटर्न में आपको केवल दिख रहा है कि 1.7% का फर्क है राइट बट एब्सोल्यूट रिटर्न में करीब 50% का फर्क पड़ जाता है उससे अगेन वी ऑल नो कंपाउंडिंग स्टोरी सो दिस इज वे कंपाउंडिंग कम्स इन सो इवन इफ यू कैन डिलीवर स्मॉल अल्फा लाइक 1.7% बिटवीन एन एक्टिव एंड एन पैसिव फंड द 3 करोड़ ऑफ अ पैसिव इन्वेस्टर एक्चुअली बिकम्स 3.6 करोड़ फॉर एन एक्टिव इन्वेस्टर now let me tell you what is happening in our industry let's understand a few things right before that if you see last 5 years mein apna our nifty is given 12.8% your nifty you are talking about nifty 100 tri right brijesh in 10 years it's 13 and 1/2% if you were to look at again i was i just spoke to you that uh, your large cap is 100 stocks so you have top 25 of the 100 stocks and bottom 25 of those 100 stocks in terms of returns top quartile nifty stocks have given 22% return while bottom quartile gave 17 and 17 minus 17.6 basically eroded your value completely in that period the same thing in 10 years is again 22% annualized versus minus 7.8 now i'm not saying that at white oak i have the ability to find each one of these top quartile stocks but what i'm saying active manager even in the large cap space right if you can identify right stocks through bottom up process within the nifty uh, 100 within the nifty 100 universe will still find more opportunities in top quartile rather than bottom quartile and the function is one of the main important things is something called active share right and i just want to explain for all our partners ki ye active share hota kya hai basically agar aap apna index dekhe right and this is your benchmark jo green mein yahan pe diya hai na wo benchmark hai aapka और ये आपका पोर्टफोलियो है जो ब्लू में दिखाया है वहां पे ब्लू ग्रे में जो दिखाया हुआ है नाउ द पोर्शन ऑफ योर पोर्टफोलियो फॉर अ म्यूचुअल फंड मैनेजर व्हिच ओवरलैप्स द बेंचमार्क इज एक्चुअली अ पैसिव राइट वो पैसिव है बेसिकली अगर निफ्टी में मेरे ये ये जो इंडेक्स में मेरे सौ स्टॉक है मेरे पोर्टफोलियो में चालीस कुछ स्टॉक है सो इफ आई एम होल्डिंग लेट से रिलायंस का वेटेज इज अबाउट टेन इन दी बेंच मार्क अज्यूम आई एम जस्ट गिविंग अंबर इफ आई हैव सिक्स so 6% is my active portion sorry 6% is my passive portion but 4% which is not really there becomes my active portion so how can you add active active uh, this thing so whether you are underweight or avoiding certain stocks that is where you add activity second you are overweight stocks you know securities which have a lower weight in the portfolio so if if something is Uh, if itc is 4% and i have 8% that means i have 4% active position in itc and third if i add securities which are not part of the benchmark abhi typically large cap fund mein hum kya karte hain ki 80% aapka hota hai um you know large cap mein investment but you can put up to 20% in non large large cap idea so that the remaining 20% may say agar if you putting 10 15% let's say in mid cap so that becomes an active part of the portfolio so typically our industry today in large cap funds and this is the problem of our industry only 40% on an average of your top 10 large cap funds are active managed right 60% is overlap with the benchmark so aap khud soch lijiye brijesh ki agar 2.5% expense ratio ya 2.3% expense ratio hai usme se aap fir 60% benchmark ko replicate karoge so how will you really be able to outperform the benchmark then how will you how will you you know how will you actually go and outperform when you are trying to replicate the benchmark because people are being conservative about it they don't want to take that level of active risk or pure investing risk to identify the right opportunities to create that level of this thing right so that's in a way our belief is if i if i was to last thing which i just want to show you is this is when i look at the um, you know the whole industry my whole industry is in this yellow box right where the active ratio of of their portfolios are less than 40% and their non large cap exposure matlab jo 15 15 ab 20% tak jo le sakte hain exposure people have taken less than 10% exposure in the non large cap portion we've given a commitment to our investors saying that we will we will endeavor to have more than 50% active share that green box is where i would like to be and take about 15% exposure in mid cap so that the investor who comes in right is able to see at at this 
as a large cap 80% plus so this is how you can create active you know investment and the endeavor is to try and beat the benchmark then by at least 150 200 basis on a year on year basis so i know i've taken a little bit of time explaining all these things bridget but i just thought this was useful from a from explaining how you can create alpha within the large cap space pratik i must say something here uh, if you can stop this uh, uh, sharing you see alternatives are exciting mutual funds are boring and within the mutual fund section large caps are boring and small cap and mid cap and sector are exciting but i can't tell you and i want to see if the participants echo my opinion or not in the chat box by writing yes the last 5 10 minutes of your presentation and the quality of presentation the neatness of the presentation the 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 value of the numbers that you have put in was a truly an eye opener and the way you have presented the data is quite interesting and you know you have made this large cap category look uh, you know uh, you have made so many flavors around it and i thoroughly enjoyed your presentation it's not easy to talk about large cap and see some of the people are saying yes i agree it was totally Thank entertaining you. And it was such high value in terms of knowledge. Thank you so much, Pratik, for this. It was thanks, really thanks. very nicely made. Definitely, you can have the copy of the presentation. I'll I'll send it to. Um, we'll anyway be uploading it on Mas. You I'll know, send it to me, and we can upload it on the Masterstroke platform. Thousands of people will download this, and I will recommend them personally that you should see this presentation. Uh, returns are something we will talk about in the future, but this presentation is truly, truly remarkable. so you know somebody did mention about uh, chirag so you know i have couple of my team members on the so as i said i also run the product function so you know creating this presentation is part of uh, part of my world so i have couple of amazing team members uh, chirag and manoj many of you all would have interacted because i saw his name in one of the messages uh, which i think rajkumar had written uh, but they are the they are the, you know they they spent a lot of time analyzing and understanding the space uh, the you know the excitement for us brijesh is because we are bottom up stock pickers right white oak as all of you all know when the founder is an investment professional right the dna of the company is investments right we hum jaise kehte hain na we are not going to be running a bank a mutual, you know a, a insurance company or broking company a wealth management company what we will do always is only focus on the investment management business right that is what we are here Yeah, so Kanchan is saying that we are fond of this duo. Absolutely. Yeah. So they, they are meeting team members. I have. I mean, they are they are wonderful people who have actually been, uh, you know, doing this this work of um, you know analyzing a lot of trends and data. Even that SIP piece which I was speaking to you about, Rajesh, was created by them. Um, so you know, we'll 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 definitely uh, share this. Uh, there are some people who asked to get in touch. We will ensure that we can get in touch with them. You see, the first time I read something about White Oak was one. In, uh, 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 maybe around six months, nine months back, and I got through your fact sheet where you uh, disseminate data in terms of the way you said that large cap, mid cap, small cap. So, you have alpha, how much, how much return you have made. This data in the industry, no one has ever made before. And then there are messages that say that this is a fantastic job. The way you are being so transparent and you are giving so much information behind the scenes in terms of what you are doing is commendable. And today we got a bigger version of that data points. Fantastic. Yeah, but Bridges, what I have done, na, jo main PMS me karta tha, same attribution data I am also started publishing for my yeah. mutual fund business. So, ऐसा नहीं है कि वो केवल PMS के लिए है. So, my presentations today, na, jo main abhi now we just completed three months of track record of our flexi cap fund. We have that same data which is available. Yeah. If you yeah. see. we're already outperform i mean it's too early to talk about returns there jaise aap keh rahe ho but but you know we'll that's that's exactly what uh, this thing which which one is we we are endeavoring to provide same level of transparency and information at all time to all our investors and partners fantastic so friends if you have any question i uh, i have one last question to ask pratik and then we will close this but in case you have any question i will ask them so pratik uh, 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 i want to give you this opportunity to tell you Uh, tell our audience about your forthcoming nfo so we you know as i said maybe you know when you give a presentation like this and say we're going to be launching a large cap fund it becomes ke acha isliye tumne ye sab bataya humko you know the the whole idea is that see at white oak we are uh, we have a very strong investment team of 38 people now already it's the largest investment team in the industry uh, in fact you know just to share with you all uh, in the last quarter 
we actually launched our emerging market fund out of our Singapore office, right? We have an, we have eight members now based in Singapore, uh, Bridges, on the investment team side. Two of them in Madrid who are covering Latin America. So you'll very shortly find an emerging market fund whenever SEBI gives us an, you know, RBI gives us an approval for that. But the present, what we're doing is we started with a flexi cap fund, right? We, because that's our flagship strategy. Uh, subsequently, we did launch the mid cap fund because we believe that's the area we understand very, very well. We've created a lot of alpha. Our stock selection process is very solid out there. We had also simultaneously launched Tax Saver because we know Jan, Feb, March, May. that is the time when people. So let's have a three, four month track record. We just launched the fund. Large cap is the largest equity category, right? BAF is now the single largest category, but large cap is this thing. And I find huge opportunity in that because 80 to 90% of large cap AUM is underperforming today. Right. And I don't want to, you know, sound negative. The whole idea is today, um, you know, large cap is, as I, as I said, India is big, but still small, right? So there is a great opportunity to continue to, you know, have that level of stability in a portfolio, uh, which a large cap uh, fund typically provides. Uh, so we are launching a large cap fund uh, with the same attributes, which, which I spoke about when I was doing that presentation. Uh, it will have up to, um, you know, 15% exposure, maybe to mid cap to provide that active share uh, within the portfolio. And, um, you know, same Ramesh Mantri, who's our CIO, uh, is actively managing that particular fund. Um, we have, you know, team members now based across the country in more than 44 locations where we've set up branches, would be willing to, you know, help any of the partners who are there. Uh, but please look at your own portfolio, client portfolios, they keep up a gap like that performance or I was category me because I don't think we're going to replace large cap funds with a mid cap fund. Right. So it's, it's the, uh, you know, it's, it's not about, you know, I'm, I'm, as I saw a question, why did you launch it before mid? It's not about, you know, key timing. It's, it's like today in our mind, there are six categories, right? There is a flexi category. There's a, there's a mid cap category. There's a large cap category. There's BAF, right. And, there is going to be a time to do each one of this in this cycle, right? Within a year, we're looking at doing it. So you have to do something before the other. So I'm not saying because I'm larging large cap, I'm negative on mid cap. I'm extremely positive on mid cap. In fact, that is the reason we first, you know, had the mid cap launch, but large cap is the largest category within equity funds. And today there is a huge opportunity because a lot of large cap funds are underperforming. So if there is a true manager who's coming and saying bottom up stock selection, active management, don't think about passives, right? Because passives is a, is a very fashionable statement to make, but it doesn't benefit you. It doesn't benefit the asset management company, right? So finally you have to find a solution which is rewarding for distribution and it's rewarding for the customer also. And that is where I would place a large cap fund. Fantastic. And there's one final question. What, what happened to yes, Mac? yes, mutual fund. So yes, mutual fund, um, you know, so for us acquisition of yes, mutual fund gave us the license to launch the mutual fund company, right? So there were about, there, there was a small team of 15, 20 people who were there and they've all been, they were all absorbed within Vito KMC. Uh, they had three debt funds, which we have all taken over. So there was a overnight fund, ultra short and a liquid fund. So that those are all Vito funds right now. So if you STP karna hai, uske vehicles hai wahan pe. So you can put money into our liquid or an ultra short fund and do an STP into any of the equity funds of Vito, which is there. So it is completely absorbed. The name doesn't exist anymore. All right. So this is one question by Sudipta Sen Gupta. Heard the Titans. Yet I'm tempted to ask. My SIP book accumulation is 100 with monthly contributions of one. Do I switch to debt for a while and lie low or status quo is recommended? Horizon is 15 years and then he makes a beautiful point. Risk appetite and tolerance of the client consider moderate, but not tested. You expect that the client can handle the risk profile, but it is not tested because that period has not come. So what's your answer? To how's the historic, how long is the book for? Like if, see what happens typically, what I see is many, and you know, I've spent last 15 years understanding clients on the distribution side, right? I come from that background. If you've gone through a hump, right? If it's an older book, which is there, if it's an older book, which is there, then it is not a problem. The problem comes in typically when somebody sees negative returns on his overall book size. But agar 
if that return is still positive and you've had maybe one year of negative return, it still doesn't, you know, the psyche of a client doesn't get impacted that much. So if it is a historical SIP book, in my mind, uh, you know, you'll still be running significant positive on that book because you would have gone through 2020, 21, you know, and, you know, those are the periods which actually SIP books did give you a, a you know, very good return uh, for, for pe people who have been part of those cycles, which are there for, you know, for clients who are, um, you know, there right now, one has to just, you know, as much as data, which can be provided to them to show them how compounding works, what has been the track record of SIPs at an index level, forget active funds, even at an index level, if one can show that I've, I've seen a lot of clients today are very open and mature about SIPs, right? It's, it's, they understand that because even after jo uh, you know, pehle jo PPF mein paisa hota tha, wo bhi ab, you know, through NPS, uh, is in a way it is actually going into some of the equity products, which are there. So clients are getting exposure, not just in mutual fund, but even in some of the retirement products where equity is now part of their portfolio, right? And when they look at last five, six years of the NPS returns also, you will find eight to 10% returns on the, on even the hybrid uh, product of NPS, which is there. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Pratik. I thoroughly enjoyed this talk and any final words about White Oak, Masterstroke, anything you want to share? No, so we're, so British, we're so happy to be partnering with, with Masterstroke on this platform and to be able to reach out uh, to as many partners as possible. As I said, we started as a franchise in 2017, which was catering to large global investors who wanted to invest into India. We created PMS and AIF as a vehicle uh, for h &I investors. You know, Prashant is one of those, I mean, you know, many of you all may not have interacted with Prashant Khemka, uh, but Prashant is one of those people, jo na, Dil hai Hindustani. he's one of those, uh, you know, who's always uh, at the peak of his career, he decided to quit Goldman to set this up because he said, we've not really had an Indian asset management company who's been able to create global ambitions. But at the same time, he was very clear that if I can provide this type of investment performance with a solid process, and stability of performance to investors, um, you know, in the H and I space, why can't I do it in the retail space? I would want to do it for a thousand rupee investor. That's the whole reason why we started this whole mutual fund business, right? It's a it's a tough business, Bridges, right? Let's not have illusion, right? Going, I I I travel 20, 25 days a month right now across the country, meeting many partners, learning from them, enjoying and you know talking the story. It's much easier to do that with five investors, right? And, and still be able to do it. But we are here, you know, Ashish uh, has, is here as a CEO. Between us, we've, our mission is to go and reach out to 100 cities over the next 12 to 18 months. We will be there at your doorstep and would love to, you know, create this, like Amul ne milk revolution, we will equity revolution. Karenge. So, Fantastic. Yeah, so that is our, our goal right now. We will also at some point of time be launching our fixed income range. You know, we're hiring, a, we're setting a team in place. Uh, so you will find all product classes coming in from our side. Um, you know, so please do reach out to me or my team members whenever there is, uh, you know, any anything required. Thank you so much. And do send across the PPT. We will upload that on Masterstroke and we'll share on the WhatsApp to all our 2000 plus members as well as 10,000 people connected with Masterstroke. And all the very best for you. And for all the very best to White Oak for a great success in the mutual fund industry, uh, apart from your PMS business. Thank you so much, um, Pratik, for Thanks. joining us today. Thanks, Brijesh. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. My email address, I will, I will.